It's Friday night, and that means high school football on CBS 17. This is The Blitz. Welcome to The Blitz. Got a great one tonight. A real rivalry matchup between Hillside and Southern Durham and Durham County Memorial Stadium. To get everyone fired up for this one, let's go to the Southern Durham locker room now for tonight's Friday night mic. When what? Today. Today is what matters. We can't control what happened yesterday. We can't control what happened tomorrow. Right now, at 8 o'clock when the ball is kicked off, that's what we can control. I want you to tackle. I want you to be physical. I want you to block hard. And I want you to run through whoever's in front of you with the opposite color. Y'all understand that? Y'all have the look in your eye like you're ready to control this whole situation. Good evening. From the time the ball's kicked off. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. I love y'all. I believe in y'all, and I trust y'all. Right, now all y'all gotta do is believe in yourself, trust in yourself, and know, and know that we're gonna be victorious tonight. Nothing can stop that. The only person can stop that is you. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. We do our what? We do our what? We do our what? When we do that, everybody's successful. When something bad happens, what? When something good happens, what? That's all we gotta do, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. We're on three. We're on three. One, two, three. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, pregame prep talk work. If you like defensive games, man, we got a battle for you. Check this one out here. Jaden Cordy taking the snap. He's going to connect with Desmond Smith. He doesn't have any time to think before he's met by his former Southern defenders going down hard. Jordan McClure under center, looking around, looking around. Jumping it off to Jalen McKee, going to find a hole. Small problem, doesn't have the best grip on it. Knocked out Jamal Newsom from Hillside. Quick to get there and recover, that's what I'm talking about. Southern's defense like, hey man, all good, got this one. Miscommunication on the handout, creates a loose ball for the Hillside. Jordan Clover recovers, Southern back in business in their own end there. Spartans, all about second chances tonight. They're going to give it right back to yeah, Jalen McKee. Got a muscle weight pushing through it. Got, got a weight around to get five. Gets in the end zone. It's a 6 nothing football game. Tilton's all about defense. Oh, yeah. They were coming to play tonight. Going to stay that way. Isaiah Campbell with some disruptive pleas is what the script says. I'll say it is. That's a hard hit. Second half now. Skipping ahead. Southern Durham up still. Jordan McClure slinging a shot downfield. By the deal of a girl. But Bear Hall in the end zone. Two-point conversion attempt is good. 14 to nothing game. Time for some more defense. Glyph Coath with the shutout ceiling interception to end it. And party throw down, everybody. Southern Durham takes it 14 nothing. First time since 2019 they got the victory. Jordan Kramer was there and has more. Jordan. Chris, I'm here alongside Coach Robinson. I don't think I have to ask what this win means to you. You were up and down the sidelines, hyping up the fans. You were hugging your players. Walk me through the emotion of that clock hitting zero and you walking off of the win. All of the hard work. Uh, I mean, people that see us now really don't understand what goes on behind the scenes. I mean, it's a lot of adversity, a lot of waking up early in the morning. A lot of uh, lifting weights, a lot of running, a lot of watching film, a lot of building and bonding. Uh, and, and for them to get to this point and win a, a, a tight game against a great team, uh, it's, it's just, as a head coach, they finally understand what it takes and they're finally listening. So, like I said earlier to them, this is a springboard for us to move on throughout the rest of the season. So, as a head coach, I'm, I'm happy because of that springboard. When we talked to you before this game, you said your focus this week was on tackling. I don't know that you tackled so much as swarmed out here defensively tonight. Is this the kind of Southern defense you want to see all season long? Yes, yes. I wish you could have been at practice because they, they really got, I didn't think they got it, but they got it because I, that's exactly what I wanted. Is it, you know, 11 hats to the ball. Uh, I, we got this thing called, hey, one, two, three, I'm in the picture. That means when the camera's out there, if you're not in the picture, that means you're not running to the ball. And your grandma, your mama, your auntie not going to see you in the picture. So now, now they gonna, a lot of them are going to be in the picture. And they got grandmas and aunties to say, I saw you, because they ran to the ball. I assume there's going to be a couple pictures you frame from tonight. Uh, <laughs> Yes, uh, I, I'm glad I'm over here right now because they're probably going to mug me when I get over there. So it's going to be a lot of good pitches, and I, I got to call my family and just tell them, look, you know, thank you for the support. And I'm on TV. <laughs> Congratulations on the thank win, you. Coach Robinson. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, you are on TV and in the picture. And I got the secret. I got the secret why I think they won here. We all need a boost of energy at halftime, right? That's why the concession stand lines are so long. Well, for the last 11 years, Jennifer Frazier has been there to provide that boost for Southern football. Yeah, as part of Fletcher's Chapel United Methodist Church's football ministry. Come rain or sleet or ice. 
Doesn't matter. Miss Jennifer is out there with Gatorade, granola bars, and an encouraging smile as the Spartans enter the locker rooms. And she loves her role just as much as the players love her. It means it's a labor of love and a mission of joy. I love the kids, and it's great to be able to come, come out and do something as simple as hand out Gatorades and granola bars and bananas at halftime. And I reap the rewards multifold. Definite shout out to the snack lady. There.